Well, good morning. Welcome to Backyard Bible. My name is Joe, and I've got something to show you today. Look at this. This is my wife's magazine. It's called Do It Yourself. And what that means is like projects. You know, you can make things yourself. You don't have to buy stuff. You can make your own granola. You don't have to buy granola. You can make your own pickles. We did that the other week, remember? So you don't have to buy things or have other people do them for you because you can do it yourself. Well, most human beings are actually do-it-yourselvers. We want to do it ourselves. When my children were little, uh, we were doing something. We were um, getting one of them dressed, and she says, me do, me do. And she wanted to do her own buttons. We let her. Now, they weren't quite straight, but we let it go because she did it herself. Being self-sufficient and doing things for ourselves is very important to us as human beings, and, and we value our ability to be on our own and to do things for ourselves. However, it's most important to remember that we can't do it all by ourselves. As a matter of fact, we really do need other people in our lives, and we also need God in our lives. We cannot achieve salvation and everlasting life without Jesus' help his sacrifice on the cross, and our commitment to him, and our um, belief that he is our savior, allows us to shed off the sin that we can't do on our own, because we need his help as an advocate, as a, as a spokesperson for us. So it's important to remember that while doing it yourself is rewarding and fulfilling, and, and we, we cherish doing that because we want to be self-sufficient creatures, we must remember that we are not built to be self-sufficient creatures. We require the help of other people. There are times in our lives when things become difficult, we're going to need their help. You need to lift something heavy. You can't do that by yourself. And we can replace people with machines, but we can't replace the value that God gives us in the sense that only He, through Jesus, can give us our salvation. So it's important that we allow Jesus to help us that we have God enter into our lives to assist us, and that we ask for help from other people. Because in part, they do want to help us, even though they want to do it themselves too. They also want to help us do it. And um, that's an important thing. It's a, it's a way of connecting to people. So when we all share a burden, it becomes lighter, right? That's pretty much it. I just don't want you to always do it yourself. Be self-sufficient when you can, but ask for help when you can't. And always ask to God to give you guidance and assistance. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being in our lives and providing us with the guidance and assistance we ask for. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Till next time, that's Backyard Bible.